Hello everyone, Mr. Aquaman here to walk you through how to compete in the Coliseum Season 2 step-by-step -step using Smash GG. Let's get right into it with signing up. Visit smash.gg slash Coliseum and create an account. On the event page, select the Register tab to access registration. Here you can add a sponsor or team tag to your name, and this is helpful for us to have it appear on stream. Select the events that you want to compete in, and feel free to select them all ahead of time just in case you forget, and I know that you're going to. Type in your correct PSN ID and make sure to double check it as well since this is how players are going to invite you. Next, you will get to connecting your Twitter and Discord accounts. A Twitter connection is to help us with last minute communication and social media mentions. The Discord connection is to give you guys an extra line of communication for admin, questions, and keeping up to date with all of our events. Season two is also limited to the US and Canada, so if you get an error, that may be why. Once you agree to Terms of Service and prove that you are not a robot, you are good to go. You can always visit this page once more and select Manage Registration to modify registration and see what events you're going to be competing in with the start times. And now, you are ready to compete. Competing is tricky if you haven't used Smash GG before, but don't worry, I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible. You're going to go to the event page at smashgg.coliseum when the event is about to begin. Visit the Manage Registration page, select the event that you're competing in, and you want to select the matchmaking portion of the event. And this will take you directly to where all the magic is going to happen. Once you are here and the event has started, the queue will open up. Now, it's as simple as hitting Find a Match. You will get a notification when a match has been found, then you can check in. Once both players have checked in, they can select Start Match. This is going to take you to the Match tab, and this is what it's going to look like. It can, it can be confusing at first, but there's a lot of great information here. You're going to find your opponent's information, set the match up, and report how it goes. First step is going to be creating a lobby and inviting your opponent via their PSN. You can hit Done when both of, your, both of the players connect. Select the fighter that you are going to be using and submit the outcome of the match. You can also wait until the end of the match to do so. There's a chat tab where you can talk directly to your opponents, and you can also request a moderator at the bottom of a chat. In this instance, I will show up and try to resolve any issues that you guys might run into as soon as possible. After the match is completed, you return back to the matchmaking screen and queue for another match. This will go on for about 2 hours and 45 minutes each event before the stream goes live. So good luck and have fun everyone. We hope you enjoy more matches. When matchmaking ends and you're in the top 8 of the leaderboard, congrats! Now you get to play on stream. This will be a single elimination bracket with some fun added. Each round, the matches are going to get longer, with round 1 being 1st to 3, semifinals being 1st to 5, and ending with a 1st to 7 grand finals. You will need to follow along in the bracket phase of the event on Smash GG or simply watch the stream. Note that you will not have to use Smash GG for this portion as I will manually be submitting each match. What you will do as a competitor is simply be on standby until I invite you into the King of the Hill, then you will play your match on stream. If you lose, have a great rest of your day. But if you win, be on standby for the next round. A Matcharino prize pool and points are still on the line here, so good luck. So, from all of us here at the Coliseum, thank you guys so much for watching, competing, and telling us just how much you hate zoning in the comments. We really do hope you guys enjoy Season 2, so subscribe down below, and we'll see you there.